Hi, welcome to the Windows Server Training Free Course. And today is the day one. I want to show you how to install the IIS Internet Information Services on Windows Server 2016 Data Center. Okay, so now let's get started. I will open the Windows Server 2016 Data Center on my virtual machine. Okay, and and here I have thus installed the Windows successfully on this VMware. So now I I go ahead to install the IIS on this PC to run the website okay so here before we started i will open the browser and do the testing first local hot you tie in enter So now here you cannot accept the local hot on this PC. I'll close this one. So now here you tie in the server manager. Server manager. Okay. Let's wait some second to the, for the data to loading. Okay here show in the config configure use this local server. There are some the quick stats link here. You go ahead to click on the add role and feature. Yeah. Next. 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 On this step, we have to select the role for the server you want to be installed. And scroll down here, you can see we have the web server. I, I add. Okay. It will open up a pop up here. So now you. Let, let, let it by default here and click on the add feature button. Okay. So here you can see some the description. For the web server, it provides a really reliable, manageable and scalable website application infrastructure. Okay. Click on next. Okay. So here on this step, you see like something, some feature you want to be installed on the server. And here I'm going to have to select some the .NET Framework 3.5 feature. Yeah, okay. I will install all. You can also install the .NET Framework for another version higher. Okay. Yeah. So now here I will click on the next, next, on the role setup. I have to specify the role for services, services for the web server. I will select some more here. You want to be installed the FTP server? You can click on this one, and otherwise, let it by blind security. Basic authentication application. Okay, so in the application development, you go ahead to select some the. I can I was so I here I will select all of the feature here. For security, I will select the winner authentication and UIR authentication. Okay, after that, click on next. Install. So here it will take some minutes to install all of the feature for on the Windows PC. Okay. Okay. And here the installation is success. 
and you go ahead to click on close button here to finish the installation okay so now here i will i will come back the website and type in the local hot for that thing here so you can see here after i type in the local host on my browser and the default internet information services page will be displaying here okay so now i will open the folder of the iis server open window drive Here in the window drive, usually it is C drive. We have in INS pop folder and www root folder here. And this is the default default page of the local host when you type in. So now I go ahead to create an another example. Here I will create a notepad first. Okay. So here I'm go ahead to change to show the extension of the file view yeah so here i will change it from the extension from txt in the text file to html in the html format that yes okay i will open this one in the not bad. Okay. And by default, after I create a new example file here, it will display it blank. So now here, I go ahead to enter some text in this file. Okay, so now here I save it and I will back to, I, I can copy this file name first and back to the browser and slash the tab.html Yeah, so after that it will display the welcome message in the in, in the text file Hello one from GNVS, nice to meet you guys Okay, cool yeah. So I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to install the IIS is uh, information services on the Windows or uh, Windows 20 2016 server data center. After you install the server, I I hope that video will be helpful for you. And let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye and see you later. Thank you for watching.